Okay, hi, I'm Brian Hurlbert. I'm an independent manager with uh, Watkins, uh, ID number 342198. And I want you to know that uh, any of my videos are my opinions, so the things that you see and hear are all my opinions and not to be misconstrued as those of Watkins Incorporated as a whole. So today we're cooking spaghetti. And uh, that might sound basic, but you know what? I remember when I first started cooking spaghetti, and you know, if you're not sure what you're doing, it can be kind of a scary thing. And it really doesn't have to be. Uh, there's two things that uh, I definitely do want you to remember, and I always do it, and it seems to help uh, me with my spaghetti. Just before we get to those two things, I do want to take a moment and say if you are looking for Watkins, Watkins products or recipes, or you might be in thinking about uh, maybe is Watkins the right thing for me, and uh, why don't you check out our online store at justgonatural.com, our blog at justgonaturalblog.com, or give me a toll-free call at 877-822-8463. Now, the two things that I want you to remember when you are cooking spaghetti, obviously, you'll want to get a bag of spaghetti. But other than that, I want you to get cooking oil and some salt. And the reason for that is, put a tablespoon or two of cooking oil, and you'll see I have the water already boiling here. Put a tablespoon or two of cooking oil in your water and some salt. And the salt now, this may be an old wives' tale, but I've used it for years and seems to work. Um, the salt will help your water from boiling over. So that's a, that's a good tip there that seems to serve me well. Now, the other thing that I've done, I always go to a restaurant. And when I go to a restaurant, what I don't like is having to twirl that spaghetti around and make a show for everybody to see how unorchestrated I am or uncoordinated I am and I always kind of veer away from that so when I do spaghetti at home I don't want to feel that way and so what I do is I break my spaghetti in two so what I do I just I'm gonna hold this up here where I can show you I just very simply grip my spaghetti and break it in two and what that's going to help you to do when you go to eat it or when your guests go to eat your spaghetti, they're not going to have to fight to try and wrap that on their spoon. It's going to be a whole lot easier to handle. And if you're having someone over, make them as comfortable as you can. And then what I do is I just dump that in the pot of boiling water and you need to stir that for about 8 to 10 minutes depending on how you like your spaghetti you know 8 minutes it's probably al dente it's a little still a little crisp uh, 10 minutes it'll definitely stick on the wall if you want to use that uh, it's an old trick that uh, allows you to take your spaghetti, toss it on the wall, and if it sticks, it's done. Now, if it's al dente, it might not stick as well. Myself, I don't think there's a wall out there that really has my taste buds. So I kind of like to just test it with a spoon and fork or whatever I have and see if it's to the right tenderness for what my palate, what I think my palate will enjoy by the time it's done. Now, in case you're wondering, I have uh, that spaghetti. I have the temperature in around seven, which uh, you just want to keep it boiling nice and steady. The beautiful piece of uh, the beautiful spoon that I, or spatula spoon that I'm stirring here with, um, I believe we got from our good friend Matt Dondale who has the spoonery 
and specializes in wooden spoons that he makes himself along with wooden knitting needles and uh, other wonderful wooden things. And you can actually, if you go on Facebook and do a search for The Spoonery, you should be able to uh, find Matt's contact information. And uh, Matt Tondale does a wonderful job uh, at creating wooden cooking utensils, uh, knitting needles, and other wonderful things. And again, you just continue to let this boil away, continue to stir, and do that for 8 to 10 minutes until it's to your desired consistency. Okay, so here's where I start to get in trouble. Because what i got to do is try to film this or the video work, and uh, you can see how nice it's boiling here. And what i got to do is move that over here to the sink where I already have my strainer in place. And I'm just going to see if I can do that without dropping the iPad, scalding myself, or what have you. So let's see how this works out. Okay, so in the interest of safety, I've decided to try to use the magic of television, as they say. And uh, I'm going to pour that into that strainer, as you can see and try not to get burnt because I really don't like to and uh, now I tell you I have I've actually gotten burnt right on this very pan and was doing a roast in the oven and pulled it out and grabbed it after it was sitting on the stove top and I can tell you that Watkins uh, burn cream does a wonderful job of taking out the ouch and um, healing the burn at the same time Now, one of the things I do like to do is pour some water into my pan, pour that macaroni back into the pan, and give that a rinse to help her take off some of the starch. But you don't get it all, you don't have to worry about it, um, but uh, it is kind of a little nicer if you, uh, if you do give it at least a rinse or two to help remove the starch. You can see some of that sticking on the side there. The uh, take your fingers, your fork, your spoon, what have you. I figure fingers were made before forks and spoons, but there's times if you have a lovely utensil like the one made by Matt Dondale of the Spoonery, then uh, you get to uh, have some of the finest cookware there is, um, handmade. And I thank Matt for making that. That was uh, one of the best purchases I have made. And so there is your spaghetti. Okay, so again, you've been cooking with Brian Hurlbert. I'm an independent manager with Watkins, but the information that you've heard here, the opinions expressed, and things that you've seen are mine and mine alone, not to be misconstrued. It's uh, those of Watkins Incorporated as a whole. Uh, my ID number is 342-198, and you can find Watkins products and recipes on our online store at justgonatural.com or other information at justgonaturalblog.com or give me a call toll free if you have questions about uh, the video, Watkins products or recipes or if you may be looking to get a free uh, free in-home tasting event where you can get up to two hundred dollars in free products or if you may be interested in getting a Watkins membership and saving 25% off every time you shop per year. Uh, again, my toll-free number is 877-822-8463. Thank you. Thanks for cooking with Brian. And remember, have fun with your food.